This new series, KSP Dark Arts, will be made up of simpler, bite-sized videos showing off a single interesting building or piloting technique that I have discovered or learned from others. The goal is to make the techniques more accessible to the wider community, but the secondary effect is that I have something to work on while I procrastinate working on more complex projects. That said, let's get into the first video. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to perform a trick I like to call multinoting. This technique behaves very similarly to the Allow Part Clipping in Editors cheat from the cheat menu in that it allows you to attach more than one child part to an attachment node on a parent part. The difference is that this can be done using only the tools given to us in the stock fab and hanger, no cheats required. To begin, we need a base part to attach the parent part to. It doesn't matter what part we use as long as we can radially attach to it or node attach in symmetry. Next, we attach our parent part we want to use multinoding on in 2x symmetry. Now, we turn off symmetry and attach the first child part to the parent. We then turn symmetry back on and attach the second child to the symmetric counterpart to the parent. Since this part was attached in symmetry, a copy of it is attached to the multinode parent, even though the node was already occupied. If two child parts is all we need, we can now detach the parent part, save it as a blueprint or subassembly, or attach it onto the craft wherever we need it. However, if we need more than two child parts, we first need to make sure to have advanced tweakables enabled in the options. With this enabled, we will see the Remove from Symmetry button on any part attached in symmetry. We will select this on the second child currently attached to the symmetric copy of the parent part, and then we will remove the child part. The copy of the second child is still attached to the parent part, but the copy of the parent now has its node open once more, ready to attach a third child. We can repeat this process as many times as we like to add as many parts as we need. An interesting thing to be aware of with multinoding is that only the last child part attached to the parent occludes the drag cube of the parent. So if you have parts of multiple sizes to attach, attach the largest part last. Otherwise you may find that the parent part is draggier than you would expect if the last part was too small to fully occlude the face of the parent part's drag cube. As a parting thought, this is clearly an exploit, and you will need to decide for yourself if it is something that you are okay with using. I personally categorize this at about the same level as fairing and clipping. It's a powerful building technique to have in your tool belt, but it won't be the first tool I reach for, and if I can run a mission without having to use it, I won't use it. I am interested in hearing what the community thinks about it though. Comment down below what your thoughts are, and I'll see you in the next video.